Hello guys, well, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I am bringing you a Sergi Dada FIFA 23 player review. This is a squad builder challenge. You can get him on loan for 99 games or you can just do the full uh, version of him. I've opted for the 99 games because I don't think I'll end up playing 99 games with him. Um, but you never know. I don't really play it that much outside of doing reviews. So we'll see. But 5 foot 11, medium, medium work rates, right footed, 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. Not bad for a cam. I would of course like it to be 4 and five in, in both but what can you do let's get into the in-game stats so he's spanish uh, from espanol 88 pace which is ridiculously good for a cam or a cm cdm you can play him in as well um only 80 shooting which is a little low especially with 75 finishing i would be putting a chemistry style on him there to increase the shooting i think 88 passing is fantastic though with eight, uh, 92 short pass um 90 dribbling as well really really solid um every stat on there to be honest is very good i'm not going to single one out for the dribbling um 80 to Defending, not bad, but I wouldn't be putting him in, in as a CDM if I'm going to be honest. And then 83 on the physical, again, good physical. Um, only 81 on the strength could be a little bit better. Of course, these cards can get an increase based on real game performance. So this card could end up being very good. It could go up to 90 uh, very, very easily. So let's get into some gameplay. All right, let's see what this guy's got, if he's got anything at all. Uh, but here he is. Oh, no, Vieira. Goal. Um, I thought that was Dada. Unfortunately, it's a good time to join me in the video though. 1 0 up. Nice goal from Vieira, but unfortunately, it wasn't nothing involving Dada. Uh, I think that's how you say his name. That's how I'm going to say his name. It's probably Dada, um, something like that, but I'm going to just say Dada. It sounds a bit cooler. Um, but hopefully, we can get him in the game. He's not done anything up to this point, really, um, which is a bit of a shame because his stats suggest that he should be. Um, I don't know if it's the medium, medium work rate, but I found it a bit difficult to get him into the game as much. This guy likes to overplay, I've noticed, this guy that I'm playing. Here is Dada, 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 I don't know. His passing is good though, I have noticed that. And that's decent pace shown, good dribbling, and there we go. Yeah, really good passing. And he's got back onto the end of that. What can we do here? There's not much options here, to be honest. Just test out his dribbling. Oh, that was a good shot in the end there. Didn't quite manage to get the goal, but yeah, good um, good shoot in there, good start. Um, and hopefully that is a sign of things to come with him. But uh, it would have been nice if that ended up in the back of the net. He was completely in control of that whole movement. So that would have been very, very nice. I don't know where this guy's going with, this, uh, with his centre back here. Um, but that's fine by me. As long as... Mm, as long as it doesn't go in the back of the net, uh, I was hoping I'd be able to get hold of the ball um, and then go out his centre backs because he was he had one out of position there. Nice turn from Trippier. Let's get it over to Dada if we can. He's in the middle there. He's being marked. See, he's, he doesn't run forward that much, which is a bit annoying because he's got the stats to do it. He's won the ball back there though. Um, what can we do there? Again, there's not much on. Decent pass there. He's made a run. If only we could have got that through to him. I do feel like that probably would have ended up being a goal for Dada there. Very unfortunate not to have uh, been able to found him when he made that through ball run. Rashford's quite pacey, huh? Just need to get a ball off him. <laughs> that was a bit annoying. Uh, oh, Yeah, again, overplaying a little bit there at my opponent, which is lucky for me, really. But this Rashford is causing me problems. He's, uh, he's, I'm finding it difficult to get a ball off him and... There we go. He puts him at 1-1. One, one, and I don't actually have a clue who that is that has just put the ball in the back of the net. I've never seen him before, but it's a battle of the Spanish cams by the looks of things. And at the moment, his one is unfortunately winning. Here is Dada, though, losing the ball. Poor strength shown there. That is a sign. To be honest, his strength was low on the cards. Here he is again, though, Dada. He is getting on the ball a lot more now. Oh, good pass. Why didn't Rashford just take that in his stride? That could have been a very good assist for Dada there. Definitely could have just took that in his stride and he would have been away. Here's Dada again. Not put a pass wrong, not going to lie. His passing is definitely the key aspect to him. Absolutely fantastic as far as passing goes. So that I am very happy with. I am thinking though that this guy might be better suited as a CM rather than a CAM because of those work rates it feels like to me. Um, I'm going to play some more games with him, of course, um, as I always say before giving my final verdict. But just so far, I think that um, playing him as a CM might be better. Here he is, though. Dada, good pass again. What can we do here, if anything? Is do I just need to get Dada on the ball in an attacking position to see if we can get him a goal. Here he is, though. Oh, ricochet. 
Oh, and unfortunately, so that's half time. I'm going to leave that there for the uh, the gameplay part. Let's play some more games with him, and then I will get back into the review um, and give my overall final verdict of him. All right, so Sergi Dada, <laughs> what a funny name, still makes me laugh. But uh, let's get into it step by step, and then I'll give my overall final verdict of where I think that he's worth picking up. So 88 pace, I think that it felt like 88 pace, but he just didn't move that regularly um, the work rates definitely were a problem for me with this card medium medium work rates i was not a big fan of that plan as a cam as a cm i think that he probably would be a lot better and that's where i would recommend that you use him um, as a cm so i think 88 pace probably feels about right i did notice that he was fast when he did get the ball and um, it's just getting him into those positions was a bit of a struggle for me to be honest 80 shooting again I, I didn't get him forward enough um it probably feels about right he did score one goal for me i think out of the five games that i played but his shooting wasn't the best i'll leave it at 80 his passing however was definitely the standout stat for me um i don't think 88 seems high enough so i'm going to go with a 91 for his passing which is one of the highest passing stats that i've actually given out on fifa 23 so far um for me it, it felt absolutely fantastic so i'm going to bring his passing up to a 91 dribbling at 90 uh yeah I, I guess i can see how it, should, it could be 90 his dribbling was pretty good he was able to turn really nicely using the fake shot with that guy with his close control was really good so i'm going to leave it at 90 um defending at 80 yeah maybe it could get an increase to be honest it did feel pretty good he was intercepting quite a bit let's bring that up to an 82 and the physical at 83 unfortunately i'm going to have to leave as it is his strength did feel pretty bad and that was one of the the sort of low points for me unfortunately was his strength so hopefully uh I don't know, with an increase, he will get better strength. But do I think that he's worth doing? It's a difficult one because I, at the moment, I don't think that he is. But with some upgrades, I think this guy could be really, really good. So I would actually do the loan version of him. Hold on to him. Don't use any of the loans and then wait until see what upgrades he gets. Then start using him if he, if he ends up being good. So hopefully this video has helped. If it has, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. There will be a link in the description down below full of FIFA 23 player reviews. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.